Welcome to my YouTube channel, also but also but knife search. Today, I think I will uh, make these two knives there head to head. These two Tento knives. Uh, this one is a one here. We all know it. It's a light version. It is of course a folding knife. And this ground box ground combat knife here, also a Tento version. I have uh, recently. Uh, get this uh, knife here. Uh, I had uh, another version of that, the spear pointy version, and uh, I saw um, a buck came out with uh, with a new version, a special edition, who is uh, black and uh, has uh, OD green Mercado handle. So I have this uh, knife laying around, so I think uh, it looks awesome, and uh, I t take the the knife scales from the another knife from this one and to put over to this because I think uh, it gives some some better look so maybe that's just me but I think it looks uh, awesome and uh, this is still on the way in <laughs> customization it has been this for for a very very long time yes I think this is good uh, I will say quickly guys that will not uh, if you are following my channel you know I am uh, hammer then my knife into a stump and I uh, stand on the knife and I throw them as a spear and I baton with them. I, I do a different task uh, to, to test the, the strength of them. I will say I have already done that with uh, the SA1 and I have already done that with this uh, ground combat spear point version here. So that will not be the case today. If you want to see uh, how this hold up, you can uh, go uh, back in my videos and, and, and see this and also the case with the ground uh, combat knife. So, yes, I think it could be a little bit funny to make a video because these two knives here, uh, I think they are not similar, but they are, you can see if you, uh, <laughs> if you have a good eye, they has a little bit the same shape to them. And, uh, and this one is a folder and also you can see the thickness of it. It uh, also the same five millimeters thick and the tip and uh, how the grind. The, on the SA1 this has a little bit of uh, belly on it. You can also see that on the grind but uh, they are a little bit similar, and I will say I know this SA1 here from Cold Steel with the triad lock is an extremely strong knife, and I I, I really really rely on on, on this uh, knife here, uh, and and I have tested the triad lock many times in my videos, and I will say uh, they are up to the task with the fixed blade. Of course, when you have something that can fold, you have something that can break. Uh, so uh, this is, will never be as strong as a fixed blade. But that's not uh, the test today, guys, to, uh, to uh, what can you say, test the strength of the knife, because I know both of these knives here are very strong. I have, uh, yes, I can lay them in uh, again. These two knives here I have thrown as a spear and stand on them and do anything with them. Today I will try to, what can you say, uh, compare them a little bit, how they cut, how they feel in hand, and I will do, uh, I will cut some uh, different things with them, and I will baton with them, and I will try to, to see 
uh, what can you say? Can you uh, can you maybe uh, rely enough on this SI1 here so you don't need a fixed blade? Or uh, can this fixed blade here, who is a little bit longer, I must say, I think it is, this is a 4 inch blade, this is a five and a half or just a five inch blade i can't remember i think this is a five and a half inch blade so you have a little bit more length to the blade will li will this uh, do some different and uh, i think let's try to to find out and uh, i am uh, curious about the weight on these two knife eh, because i can't remember so i will i will get my weight here to see the difference between these two knives and we start out with the SA1 folding knife this is 194 grams and a ground combat knife is 274 so around 100 grams uh, in different to that I have a, <laughs> a little, I cannot say a funny story, but when I get this Tantor version, this Tantor version here was uh, 40 grams heavier than the spear point version. So I think if you lay them over, you can see there are a little bit more steel in, uh, in the Tantor version. And also uh, it is not, uh, this spear point version here is tapered down uh, where this Tantor version here is a little bit more meat on it but when i uh, change the scales they weighs exact i mean they weighs exactly the same 275 and 274 that's one gram so that's that is uh, the same weight so <clears throat> I mean this one is G10 or this one are uh, Mikado or the other way around, I can't remember. But the feel to it, I will say that uh, this one here maybe is G10 and this one is Mikado, I don't know. But when I change the scales and these two knife here, uh, they weigh exactly the same. So the handled material are much heavier on uh, this knife, it must, no, this knife, this knife. So uh, the gray scales are heavier than these gray scales there. So that's something I don't know if, <laughs> if the but uh, this is uh, funny to, uh, to to find something out like this. Yes, let's try on to uh, to go out and see and uh, if we can have something funny with these two tantra knives here, head to head and see how they perform. Yes, guys, let's. Uh, Let's start to check out these two versions here, these Tento, Tento knives. One is a folder, one is a fixed blade. Let's see how they perform up against each other. So let's try to see some balance first. Some four feet drop. And let's take a few of them. Yes, and let's try. You can of course feel already now that the Tanto is a, the, the fixed blade is a little bit heavier and some hard, hard throws there and that's some good fight to it this ground combat, I really love this knife and let's try the folding knife and we all know this can hold up let's try that you can hear there's no nothing wrong with this blade. Let's see if you are in focus. Yes, you are. So let's try on to see how these two blades perform against each other. They are very similar, I think. So let's see. Let's uh, let's start out with some light light things here. Let's start out with the folding knife. Let's try to cut some paracord and see. Oh, that that was easy, guys. <laughs> that was very easy. I have never touched this on this blade here, so they are extremely, extremely.
strong in in the blade and oh yes it's, it's just, this is very sharp also this is very easy i will say already now when i cut this paracord here <laughs> i don't know why but when this has this guard here this is so easy for me to hold like this and cut and if you take the folding knife it's also the case this is exactly the same and if you know me guys you know i hate choils on knives i'm not a choil fan but when they make a choil like this when you have the choil not in the blade but in the handle i think it's awesome that's really okay so uh, yes let's try to take some tree here and cut with the tento tip and see that no thing there they cut perfect and let's try the fixed blade and see is about the same so let's get this this away we have some hard welcome cleaner hose here let's try the folding knife and see it's caught let's try again yes it's cool, very okay, and the fixed blade here, yes. I will say, out of the box, this ground combat here, the fixed blade is a little bit sharper, but uh, that's not much, but a little bit it is, so. But in this test there guys, I think they really uh, perform both uh, pretty okay. So let's go on to take a little bit more. Let's try something like this and see how it goes. And it's still awesome. Yeah, <laughs> you can really. And try the fixed blade. Oh yes, this fixed blade here is so sharp. This is awesome. <laughs> I don't even have to. Uh, to push very hard, it will go right through. So, that's something I really like also. And let's try the nylon rope here, if I can find ant. Maybe not, but I can make ant. So, yes. We already now see how this fixed blade. Let's try a push cut. Oh yeah, I have to saw a little bit, but this is extremely sharp, guys. And with this folding knife here, it's exactly the same. Of course, you have a little bit more pushing power on the fixed blade because it is a little bit longer and a little bit heavier. But again, this is nothing. Let's try to make a chop on an island rope here. And you can see it, it goes to a million pieces. And this tensor here is also the case. It's awesome. It's really, really awesome. And let's check the sharpness of this cardboard here has unfortunately been wet. So you can not use it for anything. Well, let's try to do some feathers. Let's start out with the fixed blade and see. Oh yes, it has some good control over it. And I'll say this way, this ground combat is made uh, they have made the grind. It feels so easy for me because I have other knives who have the same type of grind, so that is easy. So that's really, really an awesome knife. I really love it. Let's try out a different angle and try this folding knife here. And I will say the case is the same here. Look at this, guys. Look how fine you can make these curls. 
and you can use the joil there if you want to choke a little bit more up on it. I don't know if it is a wood here or if the knife, I will say it's a little bit. I can make some finer curls with the with the folding knife. Let's try the same place here with with this. Yeah, I think that's not a that's not a huge difference, but uh, I will say uh, I can definitely make a little bit finer with the folding knife here. That's awesome. Yes, and let's try to make some small chops. Start off with the fixed blade. Take these curls up here for we can use for a fire later. And let's see how we do some small chops here. It's no problem to do this. This knife here, and this is also the case when I make my full review on this ground combat knife here. This was the spear point version. I was impressed how good this uh, little knife here jobs. So, and you can see this performance here. The weight and the balance in this knife here is awesome. It's really, really awesome. Let's try the other end. It's a little bit thicker, so. We can maybe take another piece like this and do the same with this. I will say, guys, this is uh, <laughs> this is also very easy with this knife here. Of course, I can feel already now that it is lighter, but there are some pros and cons. When you talk about weight for knives, but I think they can go head to head because they have a little bit of the same shape, a lot of the same shape. And look at this, guys! I don't know why. I <laughs> this is this is difficult for me to choose now already because they really really perform equal. There are some things this would like a little bit better too, and, and this knife is a little bit better too already now. So, but I think this is. This is really, really awesome. And let's try to, to get this away and clean up here. Let's try to let's try to a little bit hammer function on the knife. Try to start out with the fixed blade. And of course, I have no worries to hammer with the back spine because this is not a folding knife. But again, guys, I'm not worried with this tight lock here. When this is engaged, it's really locked, so I have no worry to, to hammer on the spine there, so let's try a little bit of toning. let's make it so you can see it, you guys, also start out with the face plate, and I know from my experience that this is no problem with this. This blade, blade here, let's let them there so use the same and take a little bit bigger lock here and take the big piece of it. And that's something I really like when I've done this knife here. They have made the tip very fat, so they have something to hammer on. So let's see if you can see that go right through it. So let's try start out with some light turning here with this folding knife and it performs perfect and I know a little bit bigger piece here it go right through then let's try a bigger one here and see you can see here is almost the full length of the blade but We'll try to. Yeah, no, no problem. And of course, when this is a folding knife, let's try out the retention. It is still perfect. So awesome, 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 awesome. 
Yes. Let's go on. With this test there. Have some steel cable here. There are three layers of steel in this. So let's try to start out with the, with the fixed blade and see. You can definitely chop through them and let's try the folding. Now, yes, just be a little bit harder. And let's check the edge. And there's nothing wrong with the edge here. And this HCR 14 MOV steel here, I really love. I really, really love it. And let's check out this bug combat here. The US bug. There's no, nothing wrong with this. And this 5160 with RC treatment here, guys. You cannot ruin this knife if you use your head. So, yes. Let's, uh, let's try to, to go on, guys. And, and see, have something there. And let's put a little bit more stress on the knife now. Try to beton to something like this and see this way here and how, how the knife will hold up. And I can say already now that there's a lot more stress to the knife when you do it like this. And there's no doubt about it. We can go through it if we can hold it there. Yes, like this. I know this will uh, it must be a little bit harder to test on on this folding knife here, but let's try it. We are going head to head with this tool knife here. Try from the other side. Yeah. And it's digging in pretty okay. I'll say from this test there, guys. Yes. <laughs> and of course, again, this is a folding knife. Let's check the retention. Still awesome. And it is still center perfect. I will show you in the end of the video here, guys. I could not feel any any different in these two knife here, in this test here. I will say, of course, this one here is a little bit heavier. So, of course, you had a better chopping and a little bit longer edge, but that's nothing, it's nothing. So, let's try to, to go on here and Let's see how the tip performs on this. I start out with this fixed blade here. I know this tip here is strong. And that's something at the later years here, guys. I've really, really been into tensor, tensor knives. And we all know, almost every time I go out, I have my Woodcraft tensor with me from World of Gear. I love this blade, so. But look at this, you can really do some prey buying, and this is still a straight knife. Let's try with this folding knife here and see. I have no worries about. Look at this chunk here, guys. This is strong. This is strong, really, really strong. Oh, yes, and then no damage to the tip or the blade or the retention is still strong guys it's awesome and let's try let's try a little bit steel cut here at the end to see let's try to this is a solar can here and go in and you can easily easily dig it in and cut to this aluminum here with no problem 
and I know it's damaged at all. And this is exactly the same case with this knife here. It's so, so awesome. And I really, really, really love the knife of them both. Let's try to something <coughs> I really, really love with this SA1 here. It is uh, the handle. I really, really love something who are straight, just like this. They are totally straight, so for me, I had a better control over the knife. But I really love when the tip is in the end. Curve a little bit down so we don't have the tip up here, but not exactly in the middle of the knife, but almost. So that's something I really like with this tensile, tensile types here, with this, like this. Let's try to, to, to feel the stabbing ability on these knives here and the way they have made, as you can see, I have painted this, this uh, bill clip here black, also the screws, because I think this look awesome when it sit in the pants and I really, really like, as you can see already now, the black is wear out and I really like this when the blacks begin to, to wear out, so it looks like it is uh, 10 years old or something that really appeals to me, so yes. Let's try to see some hard stabbing here. <coughs> and there's nothing. You really have a good hole in this knife here. There's no worries at all. Really love it. And again, let's check this. Yes, listen. It's perfect. And this one here, you can see the guard of the two knife is almost the same. The depth is on the folding is maybe a hair, hair longer, but almost the same. And that's why I stab. Oh yes, I know there are some few reviewers who have reviewed this knife here, and they have talked about the guard is not deep enough. Uh, so they are afraid the hand can slip out to down to the cutting edge. Yes, I have never had this problem with this knife here because if the hand was a little bit wider, I would have this uh, problem. But for me, with so big hands, uh, the handle is a little bit narrow. So that's awesome. I can really, really squeeze my hand all over the handle. So and have some good stabbing performance. And yes, guys, that was a little bit test on these two knife here. Let's take a closer look on them and see if there are any damage. Let's take a little bit closer look on these two knife here after the testing and see if there are some damage in the edge. No, that's not. The edge is still flawless. And of course you can see some scraping there on the paint. But that's nothing. This is really, really one of my favorite knives in this size. I really, really love this buck ground combat. This is such a shame they don't make them anymore. I will say, if there are anyone <laughs> in buck who are hearing this, if they can came out with exactly the same lines on this knife, but with an eight inch blade, this will be so, so awesome. This is a five and a half inch blade. We can do the same shape just to zoom this knife uh, out and, and make it like an eight, eight inch blade or eight and a half. No, I think eight inch blade, blade, it will be so awesome. This will be a knife I will buy immediately. So that's something. And again, the sheet with this knife here. And let's see. If there are some any edge damage on this SA1 light here, no, there is not. This is flawless and perfect. I really, really love how this SA1 look here. And I will say, guys, I know this is not popular to say, but in somehow I really like the SA1 light more than I like the SA1 
um, as I have also, not because this is the Tanto blade, but because and somehow I really really like this steel there, uh, HER 14 MOV, because it has a little bit more, um, what can I say, softness to it, so it don't break and chip so easy. You can also have a harder steel and that's very good to edge retention, but when you talk about strains and durability, I'd rather have the steel is a little bit softer and I have to maybe strap it up one or two times more and the, the knife will not chip. So that's something. Let's take the retention last time. Yes, and you can see after this here, you can still see the knife is centered perfect in the middle there. So that's an awesome, awesome folding knife. Really, really awesome. Yes, guys, this was a little bit head to head with these two Tantra knives here, who I think are pretty similar. This is a fixed blade, of course, and this is a folding knife. And if I have to choose, but I'm not have to choose because I own them both. So, so, but I will say there are pros and cons with these two knives here. Of course, the fixed blade is the stronger knife in the end, and you can do a little bit more with it. But again, I'm not thinking this knife as a folding knife because I know it's so strong. I've really, really tested this. My old uh, SR1 I have in my collection. I show you in the start of the video. I tested that. Uh, tons of times so this is a strong knife and the pros on this one here you can do like this and take it in your pocket and you can see of course it filled only the size is, is only the half so we, but we know that so but i think when i saw these two knives there i think it could be funny to to make a head-to-head -head comparison how they perform in some light work and uh, I have also tested that knife here, as I mentioned in the start, uh, in my video where I tested the, both this one, the spear point, and this one, the SR1, with uh, the normal uh, clip point. And uh, I'll say they perform just like now, guys. I could not decide if I really have to choose some of these knife here, and it it, it will depend because. If I were dropped down in a jungle somewhere, I will of course take the little bit heavier and longer knife. But if my job was to uh, uh, go in town and, and, and walk around around other people, I will choose this uh, this knife here. So, but there are none of them I don't like. And I will say it's up to you guys. It's really, really up to you what kind of, of knife you really love. Uh, the most of these two here and if you I cannot I think uh, there are not many out there who can say this one is better over this because with my experience of knife guys I will say I could not choose I could not choose I will not say this one if they have the exactly same length on blade I could not feel a different guys I could not feel a different uh, but of course when you have a little bit more weight and a little bit longer blade in the fixed blade you can of course feel a little bit different when you chop and but if you have to do some some really really fine feather stakes this is the way to go so but there are no different guys there are no different i can't tell you i can i can't tell myself there are no different in this knife there they are awesome in in the way they are built uh, so yes okay guys that was a little bit uh, what can you say not a hard test uh, video, but a little bit funny video because when I saw them, I think that could be awesome to to make a head to head on these two knives here. So I only have one thing to say: uh, don't go hiking. Go hiking!